don't know how and when and where you saw the new jerseys, but when you saw them and you saw them for the first time, what were your first impressions? I thought they were awesome. You know, I think getting rid of the black and going to teal, you know, when you think of sharks, you think teal and, you know, getting the teal pants and gloves was a nice touch and seeing them in person here, um, they look even better in person. Right. You were one of the answers. I want to warn you on this category and this question when your teammates were talking about it, but who cleans up the best on this team and why? Wow. Someone said me. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> I would probably say, I'd say Timo. Timo, when he, you know, does his hair up and stuff, could look pretty good, I guess. <laughs> it's the hair in the suit, basically. Yeah, That's exactly. It, right? Right. Exactly. Mario Ferraro is blank. What is he? A clown. <laughs> in the nicest of ways, I'm sure. Or, yeah. or maybe not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Brent Burns' legacy inside the dressing room. Obviously, you guys will face him here early on this season. What, what's something that he did to impact this room? Um, you know, Burns is just a true professional, and um, the way he, he carries himself every day, um, it was great for the young guys. He's also a very vocal guy, so, you know, he was always talking in the room and um, you know, getting the guys ready for games and whatnot. So, um, you know, his presence in the locker room and on the ice is definitely going to be missed. What's the best way for anybody to impress a new head coach? Um, I think just uh, have a great training camp. You know, it, it starts tomorrow and, um, you know, not every day is going to be great, but, um, you know, you just got to lay it out there and, and show what you've got. Um, what's one sentence or one first impression you have about Tech CU Arena, the brand new Barracuda rink? Uh, it's, it's very, very well done, uh, very clean looking. The black seats look nice, um, just a nice rink overall. Let's say you're not a hockey player, you're just a fan. The Battle of Alberta, which side do you take, Calgary or Edmonton? Uh, Edmonton. Why is that? I just think they're a better hockey team. Just because. Oh, yeah. so you're, you're going not for the city, not for the fan. You're just saying right now. Yeah, just take I don't know. Yeah, I don't All know right. much about either city, so I'm going based All on right. the uh, hockey clubs. <laughs> They're going to have a Doug Wilson tribute night, first homestand of the season. I expect it to be emotional, uh, sentimental for a lot of people. What's the first thing that comes to your mind that you'd want to say to Doug Wilson right now? Um, I would just say thank you. You know, when I when I was first drafted, it was it was Doug that was um, the GM here, and um, you know, even my first training camps, he's always been nice to me and my family, and um, you know, just uh, an overall great human being. So it, it's going to be a special night, and um, you know, we're all excited for that. What's a better holiday, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, and why? Uh, Wow, that's a tough one. I think New Year's Eve, you know, you're more excited on New Year's Eve and then, uh, you know, hopefully you're partying a little bit. And <laughs> But uh, New Year's Eve for sure. Do you know where you'll be New Year's Eve and New Year's Day this year? I have no idea. You have hockey games on both those days. Do I? Then yeah. I'll be in bed. <laughs> you'll be flying and in yeah. bed. It's a road yeah, trip. Yeah, I'll be playing hockey and then I'll be in bed afterwards. <laughs> uh, tell me something you actually know about Prague. Oh, man, I don't know anything about Prague <laughs> other than what Hurdle says about it. And he says that it's an awesome city, so um, that it's fun. So I'm excited to get out there. I heard there's a lot of soup out there. That, uh, I don't know, if that's, I don't know <laughs> yeah. what that means that or if the, it's true. Is that but, the thing? Yeah, right. apparently. I like soup. <laughs> uh, you obviously had a connection to Patrick Marlowe over the years. Um, when you see the first Sharks number ever retired up there later this season, 12 will be in the rafters. What will that mean to you? Um... I mean a lot, you know. I, I was lucky enough to play with Patty for a number of years and, and be on a line with him. So I, I know how special of a player he is and, um, you know, how impactful he was to this organization and the city. So, um, you know, for him, it's a great honor and um, it was a great honor to play with him. All right, being a SoCal guy, I'm going to imagine that Mighty Ducks was your favorite hockey movie. Am I right about that? Oh, yeah, 100%. Anything else that contends with it, or is that just by far the best? Just by far the best. Yeah, I grew up just watching those over and over. So, What hooked the... you about it? Um, I don't know. You know I, I think that's j just the hockey movie that I was first introduced to. And, um, you know, I think the Mighty Ducks back then were like Disney too. So mm -hmm. when I was a kid, I was into Disney and stuff like that. So that's why I was so into it, I guess. What goes into giving a good gift? 
Um, I think the thought behind it, um, you know, I think the best gifts are something sort of like an inside joke or something that, you know, both parties can relate to. All right, and then last one here. Uh, take a look at this. You might recognize one or both of those knuckleheads. <laughs> Um, that's from a couple years ago when we actually gotcha. were both looking good. Um, <laughs> you guys look sharp. So, uh, so what I want you to do is when you're ready, uh, hold it up, show it to the camera, put it right below your chin here so the camera can see it. Um, mm -hmm. But of that duo, which one is Batman and which one is Robin? If one had to be Batman, one had to be Robin. So wow. show, it to, show it to the camera. All right, here we so go. who's Batman and who's Robin here? I think in this picture... I'm gonna say you're Batman in this one. Yeah, yeah you're there Batman. We go. You know, you got the slick black tie going. Okay. It's a little, it's a little stealthier looking. Right. And then uh, I think Brownie could be uh, Robin there. He's he rocking just the looks teal. Like, he looks like a sidekick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he looks like a like a support guy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. All yeah. right.